Philip Anschutz, a colossus in American business, embodies a compelling dichotomy, a visionary magnate veiled in the mysteries of his private life. His tale weaves a tapestry of familial depth, intricate relationships, and a relentless pursuit of success. Behind his towering achievements lies an enigmatic persona shadowed by controversies that punctuate his rise. Anschutz's narrative unfolds as one of the open criticizers of LGBTQ community and person with an intricate interplay between public adoration and guarded privacy. Philip Anschutz was born on December 28, 1939, in Russell, Kansas, into a family deeply rooted in the American heartland. His early years were shaped by the values of hard work, perseverance, and self-reliance, imbibed from his parents, Fred and Marion Anschutz. Raised during a time of economic hardship, Philip observed his father's resilience as a land investor and entrepreneur, instilling in him a profound appreciation for business acumen and the inherent risks and rewards it entails. Within the Anschutz household, familial bonds were pivotal. Philip's relationship with his parents was marked by admiration for their work ethic and their embodiment of Midwestern values. Fred Anschutz's entrepreneurial spirit left an indelible mark on Philip, serving as a foundational influence in shaping his aspirations. Philip was the third of three siblings, and while the family ethos emphasized unity and mutual support, his relations with his siblings remained relatively private. However, growing up in a close-knit environment fostered a sense of responsibility and camaraderie that would later manifest in his business dealings. The landscape of his childhood, etched with the struggles and triumphs of a family navigating economic challenges, seeded a resilience and resourcefulness within Philip. His formative years were a tapestry woven with lessons in determination, fiscal prudence, and the importance of strategic decision-making, an ethos that would permeate his future endeavors. One of Philip's earliest significant ventures was in oil drilling. In the 1960s, he established the Anschutz Corporation and found success in the oil industry, becoming a prominent figure in oil exploration and production. Anschutz's foray into the entertainment industry was revolutionary. He recognized the potential of sports and entertainment and acquired a stake in numerous sports teams, including the Los Angeles Lakers, the LA Kings, and the Staples Center. Additionally, he played a pivotal role in the development of Major League Soccer in the United States, founding multiple teams and contributing to the sport's growth. His involvement in telecommunications and railroads further solidified his position as a multifaceted businessman. Anschutz acquired substantial holdings in Quest Communications, a telecommunications company, and also made investments in Union Pacific, a prominent railroad company. Moreover, his real estate ventures, notably the development of entertainment venues, hotels, and arenas across the United States, showcased his visionary approach to urban development and entertainment infrastructure. Anschutz's ability to diversify his portfolio across industries, ranging from energy and entertainment to telecommunications and real estate, reflects his astute business acumen and strategic vision. Philip Anschutz's career is a testament to strategic innovation and calculated risk-taking, where breakthroughs, milestones, and setbacks have sculpted a narrative of triumph and resilience. His journey is a mosaic of visionary strategies, with each achievement and setback shaping his trajectory. An early breakthrough emerged in the oil industry during the 1960s. Anschutz leveraged innovative drilling techniques to extract oil from untapped areas, propelling his company's success. His strategic vision was underlined by a willingness to embrace unconventional methods, leading to significant profits. However, Anschutz's journey also encountered setbacks. In the 1980s, his investments in the oil shale industry suffered substantial losses due to market volatility and economic downturns. The estimated loss was in the hundreds of millions. This setback taught him invaluable lessons about diversification and risk management. Transitioning to entertainment, Anschutz's milestone was his astute investment in sports franchises like the Los Angeles Lakers and the LA Kings. His innovative strategy focused on building entertainment districts around sports venues. The development of the Staples Center exemplified this approach, transforming the sports landscape and urban development. 
Anschutz's strategic pivot into telecommunications was marked by his investment in Quest Communications, yet this venture faced challenges due to accounting scandals and market fluctuations, resulting in substantial losses estimated in billions. Despite the setback, Anschutz learned about the importance of due diligence and ethical leadership. His foray into railroads, particularly Union Pacific, showcased his knack for turning around struggling businesses. Anschutz implemented innovative operational reforms, streamlining efficiency and profitability, marking a significant achievement in the transportation sector real estate became another triumph as he focused on developing entertainment and hospitality venues and shoots s visionary strategies led to the creation of venues like la live merging entertainment retail and hospitality in urban landscapes revolutionizing cityscapes across america throughout his career and shoots embraced calculated risks understanding that setbacks often offered invaluable lessons his failures taught him the significance of diversified portfolios, due diligence, and ethical governance. Each setback served as a stepping stone, fortifying his resolve and refining his strategies but as they say, no historic figure without complexity Philip Anschutz's Union Pacific, a railroad giant, encountered significant legal battles and labor disputes, tarnishing its reputation in the early 2000s. The company faced allegations of unsafe working conditions, leading to multiple lawsuits and labor conflicts. Employees and labor unions accused Union Pacific of neglecting safety protocols, resulting in accidents and injuries. These disputes escalated, triggering legal proceedings and negatively impacting the company's standing. Anschutz's Union Pacific grappled with prolonged legal battles, addressing concerns over employee safety and labor relations. While efforts were made to resolve these disputes and improve working conditions but the damage was already done. Again, Quest Communications, in which Philip Anschutz held a significant stake, faced a tumultuous period marred by legal issues and controversies during the early 2000s. The company was embroiled in a series of scandals, including allegations of accounting irregularities and securities fraud. Quest was accused of engaging in aggressive accounting practices to artificially inflate revenues and meet financial targets, leading to investigations by regulatory bodies such as the Securities and Exchange Commission (SEC) and the Department of Justice. These investigations uncovered instances where Quest had allegedly booked revenues improperly, misrepresented financial data, and engaged in questionable business transactions. Oh, poor Philip. And last but not the least Philip Anschutz faced criticism and backlash due to allegations of donations made by his charitable foundation to conservative organizations that reportedly supported causes opposed to LGBTQ rights. Reports surfaced in 2017 linking Anschutz's foundation, the Anschutz Foundation, to donations that supported groups advocating for anti-LGBTQ agendas, such as organizations against same-sex marriage and LGBTQ equality. The controversy stemmed from claims that some organizations receiving donations from the Anschutz Foundation had taken stances or supported initiatives that clashed with LGBTQ rights and equality. These reports sparked public outrage and led to calls for boycotts of events and venues associated with Anschutz, given his ownership of various entertainment and sports-related entities. Anschutz responded by denying any personal anti-LGBTQ sentiments, stating that he supported and respected all people, regardless of sexual orientation. He asserted that the donations made by his foundation were directed towards a wide range of causes and initiatives and were not intended to specifically target LGBTQ rights negatively. However, the controversy brought attention to the influence of wealthy donors on social and political issues, triggering discussions about corporate responsibility, the impact of philanthropic contributions, and the alignment of a company owner's personal beliefs with the values upheld by their businesses. Anschutz's reputation and the perception of his stance on LGBTQ rights were significantly affected by these allegations, leading to ongoing scrutiny and debates surrounding his involvement in such causes. Philip Anschutz, a titan of industry, navigated controversies from labor disputes to LGBTQ rights backlash. His legacy intertwines visionary success and infamy. Anschutz transformed industries, oil, entertainment, telecommunications, propelling sports ventures and urban development. Yet, scandals like Quest's financial turmoil and alleged anti-LGBTQ donations drew criticism. His impact on future generations lies in pioneering business strategies, urban revitalization, and sports expansion, shaping the landscape of entrepreneurship. Anschutz's legacy is a complex tapestry of triumphs, controversies, and a visionary imprint on diverse sectors, 
fostering dialogue on ethics, philanthropy, and the responsibilities of business magnets.